Imagine a world where people don't fight about DC or Marvel. Hate Star Wars because it's owned by Disney. Always complain about the iPad and compare it to the Mac and complain about which one is more useful. I know that's impossible, but let's talk about it. These are the three things that Apple needs to do if they want the iPad to not die. I personally believe iPad OS is perfect the way it is, but people keep saying that it needs Mac OS. Instead of getting Mac OS, why don't we just give it Mac like features on iPad OS? I believe truly that the iPad is perfect the way it is. So let's just give it a few tweaks. I'm going to go from least important to most important, at least in my opinion. And if you like these kind of videos, let me know in the comments down below, like, and subscribe while you're at it. Number one, we need a better files app. Give us finder from the Mac. Finder from the Mac is a lot better to use. It's a lot more clean and a lot more organized. Something that the files app on the iPad and iPhone for that case is kind of missing right now on the iPad. You can't even remove an SSD safely. That kind of sucks, right? That's not good. Give us a better files app. Give us finder from the Mac. That'll help a lot in this situation. Number two, free floating windows. Apple gave us stage manager last year in iOS 17, or maybe it was iOS 16. I don't know, but take stage manager, launch it out the window. It's horrendous. I hate stage manager. I can never use stage manager. I've tried to use it. I hate it so much. Get rid of stage manager today. Now, yesterday, please. We need to get rid of stage manager. Give us free floating windows like every other computer in the world has windows where you can have 10 windows open in the same page. And if it's messy, that's your problem. Like the Mac allows, like every other computer in the freaking world allows, right? Is it just me or does that seem pretty simple to do? That would be much better for multitasking. That would be much better to get a lot of things done. And again, it'll chill a lot of people out when it comes to getting on Apple's case on putting Mac OS onto the iPad. While we're at it, put Mac OS on the watch, huh? Next and last but not least, we need more web based desktop level software on the iPad. The app based software is great and touch based everything is great. But when it connects to a magic keyboard, what if Apple allowed desktop level software, removing certain limitations, giving more power to Safari extensions because WebKit, Safari WebKit is having a lot of issues right now, has a lot of limitations that Mac OS does not have. Remove these limitations on Safari on the iPad. And I think that will be world's better. Maybe it can have a dual boot option when it connects to the magic keyboard. That's when it boots into these web like features. That's when it can be a more web based OS compared to the app based OS when it's not connected to the keyboard. Personally, I think that'd be really cool. And if anyone can pull that off, it's definitely Apple. Right now, only certain apps can use more than five gigs of RAM. And these are the apps that Apple deems pro. So all other apps are only able to use five gigs of RAM. If Apple can remove that limitation, I don't know why they haven't. If they remove that limitation, then that will take away another huge issue to where these certain types of software are just lagging or not working great. I've gotten a lot of comments from so many different people on my channel saying that that is one of the biggest things iPad OS needs. If Apple would just give us more web based solutions, remove these certain, in my opinion, dumb limitations, I think iPad OS will be golden. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Jake. This is Shot on My Phone.